Hi, this is Jamie with Useful Knowledge. Today we're going to talk about a subject that's very important if you live, work, or play in the woods. It's poison oak and poison ivy plants. We're going to talk about how to recognize these plants and what to do if you come in contact with these plants. Now most everyone knows that these plants contain a toxic substance called urushol. This substance is really nasty and it will break your skin out for weeks. We're going to go through everything to do if you do come in contact with this plant and how to do it effectively that will keep you out of the doctor's office. So stay tuned. This is an excellent example of poison ivy. Poison ivy actually grows up a tree just like this plant is growing up a pine tree. And it can be easily recognized by the leaves of three, just like you hear the term, leaves of three, leave it be. Okay, you see these poison ivy leaves here? These leaves are part of a huge vine that's climbing this pine tree. And if you look just above them, you see the vine. And I'm going to go up the vine here. This vine, if you come in contact with that vine, if you cut it, you will get your shawl on you and it's just as bad as if you run into the leaves. Okay, so now let's talk poison oak. Poison oak is normally found on the ground. It's found near the forest edge and it likes to live amongst oak seedlings, things like that, that are also near the forest edge. So if you notice in our video here, you can see a young oak seedling and right next to it is some poison oak. Now this poison oak contains the same nasty substance called your shawl that is also in poison ivy and that's what breaks you out now this stuff you can get it off the leaves you can get it off the roots you can get it off the stems it just is all over the place so even if this stuff was not out yet let's say it was dead of winter and you were digging around in the dirt here for whatever reason you can still get this on you i actually had one of the worst poison oak rashes in my life when I was working in a forest in February. Okay, now that you know how to identify poison oak and ivy plants, how do you get this Urushol stuff on you? Well, it's obvious you can get it from your poison oak and ivy leaves, from the ivy vine, and even the roots and the stems of the poison oak and ivy. But here's some other ways you probably hadn't thought you could get it. Shake my hand. Good girl. Good girl. Shake it again. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, I could have your shawl on my hand right now. It's something to think about. Your dogs, they could run around in the woods, you could carry them hiking with you, you could carry them to the park. They can easily get this stuff on them, transfer it to your hands, you can get it on your face or your arms quite quickly. If you go hiking, your boots. If you've hiked all day, you could have easily walked over some poison oak leaves got some your shawl on these boots and then you put them in the tent with you so it's something to think about and something to think about with your children if they're playing with your, your dogs okay so let's just say that you think you got your shawl on you what do you do about it first of all your shawl is basically an oil your skin is going to protect itself for about two to four hours some people even say up to eight hours but all you have to do is you wash it off you use a real good soap, such as a dishwashing soap, such as Dawn, and a good bath cloth, and you actually scrub it off. If you're backpacking, and let's just say you don't have soap, well then get in a creek and use that sand out of the bottom of the creek to wash off where you think you might, may have gotten your shawl. That's really all you have to do. So we hope you gain some useful knowledge on poison oak and ivy, how to identify it, what to do if you get it on you, and the interesting ways you can get it on you, such as Liberty here. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you'd like more useful knowledge, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.